So we are in uh, line 19 to finish off on this stanza. So it says, but you have severely broken us in the place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. All right, so still talking about God's that heavy hand on them. All right, so it says, but you have severely broken us in the place of jackals. And that sends us to Isaiah 34, 13. Isaiah 34, 13. That says, and the thorns shall come up in its palaces, nettles and brambles in its fortresses. It shall be a habitation of jackals, a courtyard for ostriches, ostriches, ostriches. <laughs> and then that sends us to uh, Isaiah um, 32, 13. That says, on the land of my people will come up thorns and briars. Yes, on the happy homes in the joy city. All right. So it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what, what everything looks like. If uh, God ain't for you. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, and then so that uh, Isaiah 34, 13 sends us to Isaiah 13, 21. I don't know if I had that one marked off, but we'll just go turn to it. 13, 21, that says, Wild beasts of the desert will be there, and their houses will be full of owls, ostriches, ostriches will dwell there, and wild goats would caper there. All right. And so let's go back to Psalm 44. And then, uh, so it says in the uh, B part of 19, it says, and covered us with the shadow of death. And of course, that's going to be the reference scripture for Psalm 30, Psalm 23, line four, of course. And it talked about the shadow of death. And we went over all that in, um, Book 1, Psalm 23, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. All right? And so, um, let's move into our next stanza. Line 20, If we had forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to a foreign God, would not God search this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Yet for your sake, we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. So they're saying, they're pleading their case. Saying, okay, in 17, they say they forgot, they hadn't forgot about God. And then he's, they're saying that if we, if they have forgotten about him, God would have found it out anyway, because God what knows the heart. And so being if God knows the heart, if they would forgot about him, then God should know the heart um, because they didn't forget about him. And saying that's the that's their their case they're trying to make to God. All right. So uh, let's look at uh, 20 it says if we had forgotten the name of God, name of our God or stretched out our hands or worshiped out our hands to a foreign God. Would not God search this out? All right. And so this, it sends us to Deuteronomy 6.14. Deuteronomy 6.14. All right. That says, you shall not go after other gods, the gods of the peoples who are all around you. All right. So they already know they're not supposed to go after other gods. All right. And then so um, let's go back uh, to 21 in uh, Psalm 44. Uh, Would not God search, uh, search this out? 
for he knows the secrets of the heart. He does. Everything is butt naked and open before him. And so he knows uh, everything. 22. Yet for your sake, we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. And we read that reference scripture um, in Romans 8.36 already. All right. So now, so they're saying that they're killed all day long for God's sake. And so it's like, why not God having mercy? And they're going through all of this. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and break here. What if five minutes move fast? Uh, we're going to break here. And then we'll pick it up, uh, pick up our last stanza starting at line 23.